here at IHM, uh, first of all, it's a great space to be in. Hoteliering is the most comprehensive management course you can have. It teaches you marketing, production. You know, it, it is like becoming a mini CEO. That's uh, definitely uh, something that I can't... Uh, you know, I don't think a lot of people can even imagine uh, sitting in other colleges. Uh, I have friends across the world and uh, I have uh, professors, you know, one of them is from the Niagara College in Canada. Oh, wow. And uh, he's actually a celebrated chef and we worked together in Dubai many Dubai. years back. And uh, when he heard about it initially, he was in two minds. This was like four years back. And then he came and participated. They actually oh, wow. won the first award. Like, oh, you know, wow. they became the first and all that. His student won it. Right. And after that, I went to Canada to see what they're doing. And I was like, well, I mean, they are so excited about this particular event like YCO. Precisely is the rational, the objective, the vision of the young Shivalimpian to bring the young people of the world together under one platform. Why it's not just about the world's biggest culinary competition, which it is, they can become friends for life, bonding together, and making the culinary and hospitality world such a great platform. I think uh, YCO as an uh, effort is something uh, which is pathway because uh, to um, celebrate uh, cooking uh, by students globally uh, is a responsibility and uh, uh, when that responsibility is uh, taken by an institution uh, that is pathbreaking because it needs commitment and uh, it's it's uh, looking at beyond your own uh, institution students uh, in uh, times to come i think uh, it will uh, bring in uh, much more value in terms of goodwill that can be created through uh, food YCO was such a big event, such a big event. Yeah, ideally, yeah, the, ideally the, uh, any college would have hired an event management, a big event management. No, but those guys to, did it themselves. So every student in that college was involved in handling that YCO. That and was holistic was amazing, training. Amazing. That was all. Those and kids, what they have learned during that YCO, they will never ever forget. I've been involved in quite a few competitions, but to, to invite 50 countries from around the world to take part in such a sort of festival of food is uh, you really have to take your hat off and congratulate IHM. With 50 uh, contestants, you're looking at um, uh, a very difficult process to uh, eliminate from the 50. YCO does it. Absolutely brilliantly. There's a lot of competitions for senior chefs to enter, lots of those globally. When it comes to students and actually young chefs that are coming through, there's not a lot out there. And this is the, the biggest one. I think the world should listen to what's happening here in India, where we're bringing young people together through the medium of food and hospitality sharing and, and um, appreciating one another's cultures, irrespective of religion, irrespective of class. And I think that's very important, and there's great lessons to be learned. As a hotel management intern, I got a hands-on experience by working in all departments of a hotel in my film October. You too can experience real-time training at India's top hotels and make a great career in the hospitality industry. Join IIHM. International Institute of Hotel Management, one of the best connected and India's top hospitality education institute, IIHM, celebrates the release of October. So in Young Chef Olympia 2018, we always thought to bring some kind of an academic input into the competition so that the students of IIHM 
all across can get an idea about what the culinary world is thinking about. We have organized one of the world's best international culinary forum, which was held in the Hyatt Regency. Some of the best chefs in the world all came together and spoke and discussed and told their life story. The second event, which is actually one of the historic events, because the first time in a planet that anybody have organized this event, is a branded event called United World of Young Chefs. For the first time in the world, the United World of Young Chefs symbolized that in one platform, 50 countries, 50 chefs, 50 mentors cooked their national dish under one sky. Uh, as I have said uh, earlier, this is truly amazing uh, to have uh, something like uh, this uh, in Kolkata. Uh, and I was uh, thinking that why do we not have this in Mumbai? I think Delhi should also be uh, thinking like this. But uh, I, uh, I think Kolkata has taken the lead thanks uh, to IHF, Dr. Bose and uh, his team. So I know that I have said this earlier, I am going to say this again. It needs, uh, it needs a madman to start it, but it needs a team of madmen to finish it. So uh, may this madness continue forever. Uh, really proud to be part of this. Uh, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. As a hotel management intern, I got a hands-on experience by working in all departments of a hotel in my film October. You too can experience real-time training at India's top hotels and make a great career in the hospitality industry. Join IIHM, International Institute of Hotel Management. One of the best connected and India's top hospitality education institute, IIHM celebrates the release of October. I think it's uh, today's day and age, uh, the hospitality as a profession has come to a very different level altogether. And uh, my dear friend, Dr. Bose, I, I always, uh, you know, kind of congratulate him for that one thing that he has done for, for bringing this uh, profession onto this limelight and making it uh, really look, uh, you, you know, as good as it is, you know, actually, I mean, making it, popularizing it, you know, giving it such a celebrity factor. I think the International Institute of Hotel Management is best on the pillar of the premises that is global. It is international. So obviously for the last 25 years, our focus has always been how to become globally big. So we had signed the one of the first foreign collaboration with uh, Queen Margaret University College in Edinburgh, then with Edinburgh University, uh, Edinburgh Napier University, and then right now we are working with the University of West London. Institutes like IIHM, which has been associated with us for, for so many years, have you know we have already people from your institute in the past who are you know doing extremely well in our in our hotels, and uh, they can be a great pointer for you to see how their growth is happening within our company. What what came across in the students of IIHM was the energy, and that energy could be put to good use in the industry for sure. And if they have that, then. Sky is the limit. MJW Marriott is the place, place to, be. to be. <laughs> it is very important. I myself have signed this MOU for, for Hong Kong. And uh, in the learning phase for students, it is important for an exchange program. It's a delight to be working with your organisation. You are providing really important skills in the hospitality sector for people to get jobs for the future. And I know that's 
a really important theme for young people. Absolutely. And it's good to be a partner with you. Yes. So. So, so Young Chef India is also one of the another another event, which is one of the most popular televised uh, uh, reality show about how we can really get the uh, young young chef of the India who are in the class 11 and 12 and identify them, and so that they can really pursue a career in hospitality and culinary. Uh, we are in our seventh year of the Young Chef India, and uh, last two years we have worked with NDTV Good Times. From this year, we are also working with Sanjeev Kapoor's Food Food Channel. I think what differentiates IIHM from other institutes is they are, they have an approach. It's you know it's a bottoms up, top down approach. Means they take ideas from the bottom, it goes right up to the top, and then they structure the entire thing and and it it, it is filtered down again to the bottom. So you know that's very important. Ideas taken right from the base level people, the students, you know, new ideas coming up, taking the best practices in various places that they go. Mix and match soft with crunchy. It's plated in a certain way. Career in Indian food, go back and first study Indian cuts of meat. In books, you get Western cuts of meat, and that's what we study. Right from the moment you learn something, you have to learn to apply it to your own cuisine and do a little, it's a little bit of hard work because there are no ready books that explain it like that. But everything that you learn can be applied into the context of Indian cuisine. As a hotel management intern, I got a hands-on experience by working in all departments of a hotel in my film October. You too can experience real-time training at India's top hotels and make a great career in the hospitality industry. Join IIHM. International Institute of Hotel Management, one of the best connected and India's top hospitality education institute, IIHM, celebrates the release of October. Recently, 28 of the most promising employees of top hospitality brands in North India were felicitated with the Best Hospitality Awards on the 3rd International Hospitality Day. The Glittering Awards ceremony was organized by the International Institute of Hotel Management in association with the International Hospitality Council London and hospitality partner Rosiette Hotels and Resorts. Leading hospitality brands identified hard-working and dedicated staffs who have contributed outstandingly to the hotel and to the industry in keeping with the principle of service with a smile. We have also very successfully created the International Hospitality Day three years from now. Unfortunately, we didn't have one. So what we did is that we created 24th of April as the International Hospitality Day where the entire hospitality fraternity in India and abroad, they all join hand and they are in their own way celebrate what is the world's biggest international hospitality forum. What a thought. I must say that hospitality needs celebration every day. But this special day, all the best, have fun and International Hospitality Council, you rock. We are awarding the spirit of success, we are awarding the spirit of hospitality, we are awarding the spirit of hard work. There's so much of hard work, commitment that goes into this field, into this line, uh, which is, uh, you know, never seen. And it's always behind the curtains that all the hard work goes in. So it's, it's a day dedicated to the passion of the hospitality people of the world. Today, International Hospitality Day is celebrated by over 50 countries and the world's premier hospitality institutions to recognize the industry and its people whose untiring efforts over the years have created memories for millions. Last year, we also instituted a Hall of Fame where one of the legendary person would get this award as a Hall of Fame inductee. And for the first time, and for the first year, 2017, uh, none other than Ratan Tata was inducted in the Hall of the Fame. 
to be hospitable is to be human. This event marked another significant achievement in the Indian hospitality industry with the most commendable and meritorious dignitaries all under one roof. So I think a lot of projects in hand and we will be also expanding to couple of the new cities in India. We are very upbeat about Mumbai. We are very upbeat about a couple of other cities like Indore and uh, we are also looking at more hotel school concept. There's a beautiful boutique hotel being run you know by professionals as well as students are being trained on it and of course they have their It's the best way to learn in-house I mean up for uh, training you know it's sort of like in the back in the good old days when you did apprenticeship you know okay. I mean, before hospitality schools and so forth uh, came about uh, you know when when you were a carpenter or whatever you would learn from your dad or whoever down Absolutely. the road you know here you have you have a hotel you have a restaurant and and you are hands-on with real people real time real you know Absolutely. It's and I think by 2025, we really, really want to become the number one institution in hospitality management in the world. And that is the ambition, that is a vision.